beautiful hump day it was across the valley as temperatures rose for many areas. We did see a lot of cloud cover and wind early, but that settled down. Now we have some changes in store tomorrow. Two waves of precipitation. The morning drive, we could see a few sprinkles out there causing some icy roads in isolated spots and then a better chance of a little bit more widespread and possibly even a little heavier precipitation as we head into the drive time home. More on that momentarily. Right now we continue our stretch of beautiful weather near 40 at Fargo uh, Airport right now. Hector, 35 is what it feels like. That wind only 5 to 10 miles per hour across the area. At this time, Fargo reporting a westerly breeze. 39 in Devil's Lake and it's Almost uh, 10 degrees warmer out there near Minot Bismarck at 45 degrees this hour. We have temperatures between 35 and 40 across parts of northwest and western Minnesota. Here in the valley, a lot of upper 30s right now for Grand Forks, and that includes Fargo as well. Winds fairly light to calm now, as it was a very windy first half of the day, as mentioned. But the evening, very pleasant. Cloud cover, radar showing a few spits of rain out there, not reaching the ground over here. There could be a few showers, though, in the Devil's Lake Basin, the Cheyenne River Valley here as we head into the overnight hours. Our chance of rain will continue with the heaviest activity moving now into western parts of North Dakota from eastern Montana. As we go into the overnight hours, I do anticipate that chance of rain making its way into the valley as we start our day. Take a note of these temperatures around the area, and it will be cool enough in some spots for that rain to possibly cause some freezing on places like sidewalks and on ramps and off ramps. So be a little cautious there on that morning commute. Midday, we get a little bit of a break. Things look pretty fair. It'll be cloudy for most of us, but temperatures will be on their way up. Now, it will not be as warm as the temperatures we saw today, but still quite fair and well above average for many of us through your afternoon. It'll be warmer down to the south once again and in southeast North Dakota shot at more 40s. But on the drive home, we have a system that will be working its way through. Notice we have green for rain. The pink is a mix of rain and snow and where we see the blues up there, a shot of snow. This is a fast mover, but it'll be moving through just in time for that afternoon and evening commute. I'm pausing this at the six o'clock hour, showing it smack dab over the Red River Valley for that drive home. Again, rain here in the Southern Valley, but temperatures close enough to freezing that you'll just want to be cautious for slippery spots. This is a quick mover. Look at this. By 10 o'clock, it is gone out of here. So I don't expect much in the way of accumulation. A half of an inch or so in some of our northern communities, so could cause slippery conditions for your evening drive. Fargo, 32 degrees to start things off. We'll see a fair mix of clouds and again that morning sprinkle possible, midday break. Temperatures rise to the low 40s once again. And then in the afternoon, slowly falling temperatures, but a better chance of maybe some heavier showers to cap off your Thursday. Warmest temperatures in our east, east uh, southeast North Dakota counties, again, near 40 to 45 in the afternoon, a little cooler in northern Minnesota. Beautiful shot here. Mark, thanks so much for taking the time to upload. Seven-day planner shows unsettled weather through Saturday with temperatures cooling into the 30s. Now, we stay in the 30s, but it looks mighty quiet as we approach Thanksgiving, Mike, and that's great for anyone wanting to do just a little traveling. All right, thanks so much, Hutch.